weather apps, severe weather alerts, radio warnings. These all use information from NOAA's National Weather Service, which reduced its staff earlier this year. I'm Lorben, a staff writer for PolitiFacts. I live in Florida where the weather can get severe and unpredictable when hurricane season begins. In other states, tornado season is well underway. A tornado outbreak in March killed more than 40 people, and deadly tornadoes are ongoing. In late February, the Trump administration fired hundreds of NOAA employees. NOAA's forecasting branch, the National Weather Service, took a hit. That led to claims that tornado warnings were not issued during the mid-March tornado outbreak. A National Weather Service spokesperson told PolitiFact that except for a radio transmitter outage in parts of Kansas City, Missouri, where tornado warnings weren't needed, warning systems were working normally during the March tornado outbreak. But experts say the NOAA cuts could have long-term impact on weather prediction and public safety. The ability to keep the uh, key systems operating is potentially compromised. It's kind of like your auto mechanic shop saying, well, we've downsized, we don't have any mechanics in there. Well, that's not a problem if you don't have any repairs that are necessary. But if you do have a problem, if a radar goes down and you don't have an electronics technician to go take care of it, then you are going to severely compromise the ability to predict that tornado. Spinrad said on average, forecasters have about 12 to 15 minutes lead time to warn the public about a tornado. If there are fewer people with the expertise needed to provide those forecasts or to maintain and repair radars, the public's safety will be at risk. When it comes to hurricanes, Spinrad said NOAA's hurricane hunters are one of the most critical observation tools. Those hurricane hunters account for about 15 to 20 percent improvement in the track and intensity forecast. Without the hurricane hunters, for example, you can be sure that the forecast of the hurricane will be degraded. It's hard to know exactly how alert systems were affected by the cuts because we don't have a full picture of which employees were cut and where. Since the initial job cuts, some NOAA workers have been hired back. The future of the agency's workforce is unclear. Joel Sullivan worked for decades as a warning coordination meteorologist at the National Weather Service. He says ideally, multiple forecasters monitor severe weather by splitting up and keeping an eye on separate storms. Their observations lead to forecasts that end up on the media, your radio, or your phone. Typically, uh, a staff consists of about 20 to 23 people, including support staff. There's usually about uh, uh, 9 or 10 general forecasters, a hydrologist, uh, uh, other uh, observing uh, technician positions. Typically what they do is they, they work a, a around the clock. It's a 24-7 uh, operation because weather is always ongoing. When you have typically 10 people in a rotation for for positions that are around the clock and you have two people in the office, that doesn't leave a lot of extra time for people to, uh, to take vacation or uh, for sick leave or anything like that. Never want to have a single point of failure, so there's backups and redundancies. Uh, but in some cases, um, you know, two things happen uh, at the same time. And if you don't have uh, people there that are qualified and able to discern what the problem is and how to fix it in a short matter of time, you can end up with gaps in the system. Weather balloon launches have been suspended in Alaska, New York, Omaha and Maine because of staffing shortages. Spinrad and Sullivan said this could lead to less complete and less accurate data. Satellite information and radar information are obviously crucial for warning services, but when it comes to forecasting services, having the actual t uh, temperature, pressure, and humidity measured in 80-some uh, locations versus 60-some uh, makes a big difference. National Weather Services will continue to do their work even with a smaller staff. To prepare for severe weather, Check your phone to see if the emergency alerts are turned on in your settings. Stay safe out there and follow PolitiFact for more explainers like this.